Hello everyone, today's construction day 149. All right, so uh, we brought our scooter today, so uh, we're uh, doing our update here in the house. Um, we had to get our scooter uh, registered again. <laughs> if you guys remember, um, we registered it in August because uh, we, we bought it the year before that when we first got here in Leyte. So uh, we were told the registration is good for 12 months. And, uh, you know, we thought that to be true. And that's not exactly true. Um, on your license plate, you have a number. Um, and our number is one on the license plate, which means... Start with one. Starts with one, yeah. uh, which means uh, you have to renew your registration in January, first month. <laughs> so we were riding around... Uh, last year from January to August uh, with an unregistered vehicle <laughs> So uh, we didn't know that so when we re-registered it last August uh, if you guys remember uh, We knew we were only good from August to January of this year because now we got to get back onto the rotation uh, properly, so um, I said let's let's go down and take care of it So I don't know what today's date is say it's the 18th 18th <laughs> Uh, January 18th, I said, uh, we have plenty of time. Uh, you know, it's still January. We'll run down. It takes about seven days for them to do it. So we get down there today, and the guy goes, uh, you're not registered. You're overdue. And I'm like, <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Uh, January, we, we did this in August, and he remembered us. And uh, he goes, no, look, there's an actual date. It says January 7th. <laughs> so January 8th of this month, we were out of date. So another penalty. 100 peso. <laughs> 100 peso penalty, $2 yeah. <laughs> for being over. So uh, I guess we just don't know the ways of the Philippines okay. yet. We learn. We're learning. Yeah, luckily we haven't been stopped at any checkpoints or anything like that. <laughs> and oddly enough, about two days ago, uh, we haven't seen a checkpoint since before Christmas. Um, so we were saying, you know, we even said that like a week ago. We haven't seen any checkpoints. And uh, there was one uh, two days ago. We would have got a ticket. Um, and we drove up to it, and they just waved us through. Uh, luckily, right? Luckily, yes. we would have yeah. got a ticket. So we took care of that this morning, and uh, now we just have to wait seven days because uh, they, uh, they go to the DMV, which they call it the LTO here, uh, Land Transportation Office. They handle that for you. Uh, they give you the one-year uh, insurance they stand in line at the LTO. They, they do everything for you um, for, I think it's 1,600 pesos, but we had to pay 1,700 for the penalty. Yes. <laughs> so uh, that's over with. We got that done. Uh, so we're happy about that. Uh, tomorrow, the kitchen cabinets get installed at 8 a.m. That's what I was told this morning. Uh, so we're happy about that. I hope they look good. Uh, so the cabinet maker will be here. Um, we got the uh, foreigner price for Wilma's walk-in closet. It's a big no-no for me. Yeah, big time foreigner price. Yeah. So uh, I had a conversation with a contractor that was up here today, and he did some rough uh, guesses of what he thinks it would cost. And uh, he said it was basically double, huh, double the price. So uh, we have the uh, cabinet maker for the kitchen coming up tomorrow, so he'll give us a price. And then we have another person uh, in Dowin uh, that was recommended by the contractor that uh, either will go this afternoon, if not tomorrow, and have them come up and give us a price. Uh, so then we'll have at least three quotes. And that, that's really the ticket. I mean, to just uh, to go to one business and get a quote and just pull the trigger, you know, you know we never do that. No. Um, but we were going to do it with Wilma's walk-in closet because we wanted to give a local business here in Dowin the business. That's what our thought was. You know, we're going to be part of this community, and we wanted to give a local business. So we got to stop going with our heart and going with our head. Uh, three quotes for everything that's major that we do. It's just the way it's going to be. Uh, our eighth step is poured. Looks good. <laughs> I did it this morning. And uh, I uh, give a, you guys a little rundown of what we're going to do with the steps. So I think that'll be interesting. And then we'll just show you various updates. So uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll get you some updates. All 
another nice day uh, so take a look at our eighth and final step so let me uh, explain what's going on here the steps are about 12 inches the final step number eight is 16 inches so we made it a little bigger and still the nine inch uh, rise but 16 inches uh, wide so I didn't explain it right yesterday and I uh, Someone commented, uh, and I said, yeah, you're, you're correct. I, I did not explain it correctly. We're not going to have a step here. Uh, so what, what I meant to say, I think I, the way I worded it was um, the final grade is going to go, you know, two, three, four inches down from the step. I meant the final grade of the dirt. So we will backfill this dirt to have like a four-inch exposure, five-inch exposure here. And then uh, we're going to take this uh, two-inch pipe, and I'll bring my drill tomorrow, and we'll drill holes in this. And if you can see, it tilts this way just a little bit. And that's what we want, because the where these steps come up to the pool area is almost to the edge of the pool. So 70% of the pool is this way, which means 70% of this slope um, is to the right of the stairs when you come up so the majority of the rain water that hits here uh, now again we're going to crown this a little bit uh, by design because even this rock wall is is uh, has a crown to it it's higher here and then it, it goes down towards the fence we did that when uh, we were in the excavation stage so in theory let's just say Half of this area, the water will go towards the wall, catch the, uh, the rocks, and just find its way down to the front of the property and find the weep holes and go out. But knowing that this is going to pitch this way, away from the pool, there will be some water here. So that's why we created the steps to be a little smaller than the rocks. And again, we dug this out this morning. And now we're going to be uh, putting the concrete sacks with a bunch of holes in it uh, to try to stop some of the weeds and then fill it up with the same uh, large white rocks on both sides. So you can see Janelle did a real nice job cleaning that out. So the water will find its way down that way. But what we want to try not to have happen is when water comes here and it fills up and then it, it comes up and starts going over top of the... Uh, steps we don't want that so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to have to cut this pipe it's a little bit too long but we'll have it come out and we still got to dig this area out right here but we just poured this so i told you now just from the dry step down uh dig out and we'll worry about this tomorrow but we'll dig another channel here and it's going to go down the same uh nine inches so it'll be nine inches below grade and then we'll bury this pipe I don't know, maybe we'll split this. If that's six inches, we'll have it come out three inches, this pipe. And it'll just sit here. And we'll drill holes in the side um, all the way down. And it'll also be pitched uh, this way. So if any water does come this way, we it'll catch that, hopefully. And then just follow that pitch and then dump right here and again we'll do the same thing this is about six inches and we'll do three inches past we could put an elbow if we wanted and have it go down if we find an elbow or if i stop at the store we'll do a, a quick 90 maybe or not even need it and then just fill all this in with those uh white stone and then we'll backfill up to with gravel up to to meet this 16 inch landing so that uh, i didn't explain that yesterday i said we were going to be you know two to four inches finished grade i meant the dirt and then it'll be gravel um and we'll probably have to have the gravel come up a little bit then pack it down because it will settle because uh we don't want a trip hazard here so maybe we'll bring it up a couple inches and then just you know pound it down to make sure it's down and, and solid base but the gravel will go to the steps um, and then we'll have this 
a uh, little drainage with a bunch of holes on the side to catch any water because we don't want any water to spill over. So uh, that's what we'll do. And uh, we'll start working on some of that today. Uh, but I uh, brought the scooter today, so uh, I'm gonna have to bring my drill tomorrow and, uh, and drill holes in this pipe. So what we're gonna do today, and this is just an idea that I had, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of people with some comments, and that's okay. Uh, but this is just a thought process. So uh, I'm having Drenel uh, take some water, and he's going down these steps with a scrub brush, and he's getting all the dirt uh, off this cement, and he's getting it uh, soaked with water, which is good for curing as well. And then he also has a metal trowel, and he's going around, and he's just hitting any high spots again these are garden steps they don't have to be perfect but he's just going around and doing soft corners and taking down any high spots and it's pretty good anyway but you can see he just he's just making it better uh, he's gonna do that all the way down then I bought today two bags of Sahara cement waterproofing compound and it's white and what he's gonna do is we're gonna take two buckets of this size two buckets and we're going to fill it with that fine sand so there's no pebbles in it and then we're going to take water and fill those buckets up and try to rinse the sand because that sand does have a lot of uh, dirt and other uh, contaminants mixed in so we're not going to do uh do it for a long time but rinse rinse that sand and try to get it as clean as possible so then we're going to take those two buckets of sand one bag of uh, cement and two bags of the sahara so i bought uh two bags and we're going to mix that together and create a paste uh, that's going to have sand in it so it'll be a little gritty and then we're going to take this real damp cement that has just been scrubbed clean and smoothed out and we're going to rub just a layer like a whitewash all the way down and it, it's a waterproofing so i would assume it would soak in to some degree because the cement is porous uh you know it's, it's a week old and he's just going to work that in and just get some kind of a texture going and we'll see how it works out uh and, and see if it helps with waterproofing uh, maybe it would help with uh, mold growing on it who knows but it was just an idea instead of just having raw uh, concrete I figured we try to make call it a whitewash and with texture in it because it's going to have uh, two buckets of sand that is washed so it'll be as clean as we can get it and just try to get that to penetrate a very thin coat all the way down the steps so we're gonna work on that today and uh, see if we can get that done so we got the steps uh, all washed and uh, scrubbed with a scrub brush and we took all the high points off. This cleaned it up a little bit and you can see the sides, how nice and clean they are. Got all the dirt and rocks out on either side. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're taking some of this fine sand and you don't need much. We're just gonna get uh, two buckets full. And what Janelle's doing is putting some uh, fresh water in there and trying to get some of the dirt uh, that's at, that's embedded in that sand. And it's amazing uh, how brown this water is. We've already done uh, two bucketfuls of cleaning and you can still see that it's still a lot of dirt in that sand. It's, uh, it's a real nice hot day today. And uh, today we got a nice, uh, a nice blue view of the, uh, of the ocean. The uh, pool tile uh, made it up to the site, at least some of it. Um, so you can see the nice, nice color blue. And then the mosaics uh, will come up uh, shortly as well. And talking to the contractor, uh, they're going to start, I believe, tiling the pool uh, and doing that one more waterproofing uh, in two to three weeks. Uh, so approximately two to three weeks from now, we'll start tiling the pool. Um, and it'll take uh, four guys 
and I believe it's going to be a different four guys, not, not any of the guys that are here. Um, it'll be a, a different set of guys who, uh, you know, tiled uh, pools for other contractor before. And it'll take them about two to three weeks uh, to complete the tile, uh, four guys. So it uh, looks like in a few weeks we'll start tiling the pool. All right, so today we got another smile. Yes. And the uh, reason for the smile is uh, Wilma's been looking high and low, and the contractor just brought this up. And we could not find a large sink. This is going to go in our island that didn't have the divider. Uh, a lot of people like the double bowl. Um, Wilma does not. She likes having the one large open. Um, so we could not find this. It's a real nice color, uh, real heavy material. So she's very, very happy, right? Yes. We I finally, like it. finally found it. So the contractor was looking for it. We went everywhere. I'd even ask him where he found it, but um, it's got to be new stock because we have not seen it. So she wanted one open and not the one. When we found one that we were going to settle on, that was not a 50-50. It was like a 60-40. And uh, Wilma said I'd settle for that, but she really wanted the open, so we're very happy. And it looks like it comes with a couple accessories. Yeah. So that has some, uh, looks like, I don't know, some Teflon. And then it just goes in place like this. So I guess that's if you're doing, uh, you know, yeah. rinsing, rinsing vegetables or whatever. You can rinse the vegetables and it would drain through, yeah. I would imagine, because they're the grooves. So there's grooves here in it, and that protects it. The, the, I guess that's rubber or plastic. Yeah. And then there's a cutting board. It comes with the cutting board also. So I don't know bucket. if the cutting board fits in there or not. It looks like it does. Yep, cutting board fits yeah. and slides. Okay. It's pretty nice. So you can do your chop and then wash it. <laughs> wash, I guess. <laughs> that fits in. Yeah, I've never seen that. I've never seen that here. Yeah. And then it comes with the drain and uh, some, you know, some other things. I don't know what's inside there, but uh we're happy wilma says this is what she wants and uh check another thing off the list the uh large vanity for the master bedroom arrived as well so that is the top of the sink that's the mirror uh that's the sink that i just showed you for the uh kitchen and then here is the vanity broken down so that arrived today uh, there for the uh, master and I'll put that together here in the next few days. Wilma's well, been uh, yelling at me here for the last uh, 20 minutes because I've been out here for like an hour straight and I uh, look at that Sun um, it's it's hot so uh, this is what I'm talking about so we did clean the sand we did a real nice job of uh, uh, filtering the sand out getting it real fine and then we washed the sand Probably uh, 10 times we uh, rinsed the water out and got the water to be clean. And then we added the, uh, the waterproofer, the Sahara. We doubled up on it. It's uh, one bag per, one bag of cement, and we did two bags of waterproofing. Uh, so this is what I'm talking about. And we did the first step together. And then I put the uh, layer, just a layer. It's not textured yet. This is textured. This is not. And then... I also put a layer on the rise on two steps. And then uh, Wilma's making me take a break. <laughs> uh, and I think I need one. I need something to drink. But uh, see the texture I'm talking about? Now, I hope this lasts. Uh, we did a lot of water. We soaked this with water uh, a couple of times. Uh, and the mix is wet, but we really soaked it. And then uh, we basically put on a very thin coat and then we're working it in. And uh, this is what I was uh, envisioning. Just a textured look. And all it has is concrete uh, waterproofing and that fine sand that's been clean. Uh, so uh, we'll see over time if it holds up. Uh, but this is uh, one gonna make it look nice once it dries. And uh, it's definitely non-slip because it has that texture as well as uh, that fine sand in it for, uh, for grit. So we're gonna do that uh, all the way down uh, these steps today.
A little overtime, never hurt anyone. Take a look. Got it all cleaned up. All, uh, call it whitewashed. Nice uh, textured on the uh, rise, on the steps, as well as the sides. So this means uh, a two Tylenol night for me.